And so how do you take something like that kind of a lofty mission and that kind of a vision of this giant 10-year goal and translate that into a strategy for here's what we're doing this year that, draw, that connects to that in a very clear way? And then how do you take that strategy and say, okay, well, if this is what we're going to do this year, how do you create goals at the company where every single person can connect what they're doing on any given day to that exact vision. So can you give us an example that sort of walks down that waterfall? Sure. So our mission is to enable the pursuit of a better life through education. Right? Our, our vision today is we want to build a, an alternative to the current system of higher education. Right? We want to provide people with a, with a different path. College is great for some people, but it really doesn't work for a lot of people. And so what is our strategy? How are we going to do that? Um, we're going to build a global campus for lifelong learners focused on positive impact. Right? And those three things, global campus, lifelong learning, positive impact, um, are the three headers for all of our company goals. So what does a global campus mean? Well, a global campus means this year we're going to open this many new locations. We're going to pioneer this model of co-learning where now that we're part of WeWork, all of our online students all around the world get access to local WeWorks to study out of. Um, and, and, and so forth. Lifelong learning means we have to launch part-time programs, et cetera. Positive impact is our job placement goal. So we're going to have X percent job placement. We're going to have X percent, you know, so we're going to have So positive impact is actually measurable positive impact. Everything's measurable. But not just that. It's measurable in a way that, you know, you take something like uh, global campus, we're going to open this many locations. Well, then now that layers down into the marketing team's goal of what it looks like to launch, uh, to the instructor's goals, on, or, or the people team's goals on hiring the staff for those campuses. And anybody at Flatiron School doing anything should be able to t tie whatever they're doing up to one of those sub-goals that, that ties to either, you know, creative and positive impact or building lifelong learning that ties back up to this bigger vision of creating alternative education that ties right back up to our mission of enabling a better life through education. And so whatever you're doing on any given day, no matter how small it is or, or what team you're on and what your goal is for that month, even if it's like whether it's a sales goal or, or shipping a specific feature on the product, you should be able to tie, uh, draw a direct line up to, up to the mission. And, and did you, you as in management, you know, draw those lines or... Did you tell the accountant your job is to close the books by the fifth of the month and that they had to then sort of link, draw the lines between that and the changing the world goal? So, I mean, some of it ends up being relatively straightforward. If one of our impact goals is to have X percent job placement, well, it's pretty obvious that the career services team you know, what, that, that they have to do a bunch of work to that, that the uh, educational staff has to, to do a bunch of work in terms of how, how they service the students. Um, how we go about that process of, of matching top-down vision and goal setting to bottom up, here's what we can do, uh, is honestly uh, an ever-evolving process. It's, it's incredibly difficult, and it's probably more difficult when you're small and becomes a little bit more clear as you're scaling, uh, because who who knows what your goals are supposed to be? What should our, you know, the first year we launch an online platform, what should our sales look like? And so you try to set goals that are ambitious um, because you want people to think big. But if they're too ambitious, um, it's easy to, for people to just get demotivated, right? You don't want to, you don't want everybody missing their goal by 50% every month and then just being sad all the time. And so I think it's, it ends up having to be a conversation between leadership and the, and the team of, what can we achieve if we really push ourselves? And, um, but, it, but it's really, really hard and it takes a lot of time.